Hey guys, I had some of the uh, <laughs> Hoppin' John's Johnson's <laughs> left over. So I um, I looked up a recipe for uh, Creole macaroni and cheese. They, they call for andouille sausages. So I thought, well, I'm just going to put one of my Johnson's in here. Okay, so I dished a little out, and you can see what it looks like in the baking dish. It's um, made from large shell macaroni, and it's it's full of vegetables. It's got, I, I think I doubled the amount of vegetables called for in the recipe. Um, you start off with onion, red bell pepper and celery all chopped and uh, sautéed and then you make a roux of flour and butter and you use some plant milk to make a creamy sauce that you melt the cheese in. It's got um, Dea Swiss and Violife Cheddar. And then you, um, you chop the sausages and you fry them up and set them aside and when the cheese is ready and the shells are cooked according to package directions you mix them up with the sauce and I did a little bit different from what the recipe says maybe I'll edit the recipe I don't know I basically um, put half of the macaroni in the bottom of the baking dish with the sauce uh, sprinkled some extra shredded cheddar on that layer uh, then I put in the chopped sausages and then I filled the baking dish up with the rest of the macaroni and the cheese sauce and then I sprinkled another layer of the um, Violife shredded and um, here you can see the some of the red bell peppers in there and um, I get a sausage I don't know if I got any sauce I think that might be a sausage um, then you um, take some breadcrumbs and you toast them in a little butter and you mix them with Parmesan cheese and you sprinkle out on the very top of the casserole and then you bake it at 350 degrees for 20 minutes until the breadcrumbs get all nice and toasty. And uh, the recipe will be on my blog and I'll have a link to it in the description. See you later guys.